I think there's no doubt that the accumulative effect of these problems has caused a partial, uh, what shall I say, collapse in that part of your mind that controls your nervous system and emotional reflexes. Now, I know nothing about show business myself, and apart from what you've told me, but I should have thought there would have been ample, what should I say, opportunity for you to work off these surplus, uh, what should I say, uh, tensions in a physical way. You mean like football? No, not exactly. <laughs> what should I say? I should have thought that a person in your position would have had plenty of chances to form purely physical, what shall I say, <laughs> attachments with uh, members of the opposite, uh, what shall I say, <laughs> sex, uh, without fear of the normal recriminations. You mean like girls? I mean girls. I mean, they, they, they must flock around you, must they? Hmm? Pretty young girls, teenage fans, they, they surely they must flock around you. Tell me something, uh, what are they like? All these, all these hundreds of pretty young girls will never leave you alone. You mustn't believe everything you read in the paper. Anyway, that's not the point. Girls aren't my problem. Can you keep a secret? I find girls a terrible problem. <laughs> I'm mad about them. You know, for the last 15 years of my life, I spent listening to people talking about the most intimate details of their love life, and frankly, I, I, I don't think I think I can take any more of it. <laughs> After all, you know, a man is only flesh and blood, and I... I don't think there's much doubt that the accumulative effect of these problems has caused a partial, what shall I say, collapse, uh, temporary, of course, in that part of my mind which controls my nervous, my nervous system and emotional reflexes. It's really quite terrible. Hey, man, is this Leicester Square? No, it isn't. And don't keep calling me man. Why do you come here? Oh, well, well you don't know, man, but I like it here. Why, everyone is so friendly. Hey, man, can you tell me where Leicester Square is? I never did do my national service. Oh, uh, why not? I was physically unfit. Well, it's a different life in the army today. There's a career for the soldier in the 60s. He's a man of action, doing a real man's job in a highly skilled team. There could be a place for you, you know. If you feel you measure up to this life, just post off this free slip for a free booklet about careers in the new professional army. I could start a new life. Nobody would know. I'd be just another number. Private Herbert Nebish. Sailing and swimming in Cyprus. <laughs> Big game hunting in the Congo. Nightlife in Berlin. Oh, yes, there's a career for the soldier in the 60s. He's a man of action, doing a real man's job in a highly skilled team. I wouldn't have to worry about anything anymore. Show business, politics, publicity, doctors. What about February? Yes, we're terribly worried about February. We don't like it at all. I mean, the last thing we want is a nuclear war. No, what we want is a real, honest-to-goodness, conventional war. And after all, what's the, what's the point of training a chap for five years if he's going to be blown to blazes with all the civilians in the first five minutes? At the mere press of a button. Light! Give me the light! Give him some light. Thank you. <laughs> But if once we lose this light, tis with us perpetual light. Ben Johnson said that over 300 years ago. In those days, we had to stand up and fight. Today, won't you join me? How long do you think it'll be before they pick you up? Uh, I don't think I can tell you that. You see, it varies. Sometimes I sit here for hours. But one must be philosophical about these things. I'm a good deal older than you are. Life has treated me well. And I have had my life. 
I am really sitting here for you. You see, it's for your generation to decide which is the more important, who is to govern the world or whether there'll be a world to govern. Are you going to walk today, sir, or shall I carry you? Oh, Constable, you're early. No, as it's such a fine afternoon, I think I'll walk. Prisoners will face the magistrate. Anything to say? I have a great deal to say, men. As I've told you before, and no doubt will have to tell you again, I can hardly expect the law, which is blindfolded, to see what men with open eyes cannot. Seven days imprisonment. Next. Thank you. Unlike mankind, you see, I have no option. Name? Herbert Nevish. Johnny Darling. Uh, Herbert Nevish. Pending no. now. It seems he's a singer who's fallen on hard times, ma'am. He says he wasn't part of the rally. He'd only stop to ask somebody for a light. Pending is there? Yes. It's Madison time. Quite. Two up, two down. Case dismissed. Hit it. <laughs> darling, 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 I love you so well. Record, which I'm happy to say is doing very well because we're giving away a free packet of tea with every copy. <laughs> now I'd like to sing. I'd like to sing. I'd like to. But there isn't much time. There isn't much time. Well, there it is. Just two songs lasting five minutes. Not much to go on, is it? But that's all we have to help us solve this baffling puzzle. Where is Johnny Darling? Do you know? Good night. What do you think you're doing? Who are you? <laughs> Let's just say I'm a close friend. What, what do you want? Look at you. Griff Satchel Mall. BBC commentator <laughs> without a comment. Interviewer without a viewpoint. Go away. Let me alone. Let me alone. Go away. Go away. Let me alone.
darling, darling, darling.